This morning is exciting because one of the butterflies hatched and you can see them through the, um, the enclosure. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check and make sure that, oh yeah, all of his wings look really good. Yes. What I've learned with the butterflies is they really need time to hang upside down to let gravity um, do, do what it needs to do to get their wings into place. If you let them out too soon, they don't have that time to hang and they wind up with um, wings that don't work and you lose your butterfly, which is really sad. But this one looks really, really good. I'm gonna check in from under. Oh gosh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, okay, so we're gonna release the butterfly. Oh, I love this part so much. Here we go. Oh my gosh, here you go, baby. This is a wonderful thing to wake up to. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was the one over here in the corner and it's not. So gosh, I had one I didn't expect. Okay. There you go, baby. I can't open it up anymore. There you go. Oh, isn't it beautiful? There you go. <laughs> walking on me. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, look. There you go. He probably needs an actor. So let's just take him. Come here. Oh, there you go. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Bye-bye. <sighs> Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty, and I am coming to you from Virginia Beach. It's uh, September and it's still quite warm here. And I am like at the height of season for what I call butterfly gardening. And I'm gonna link up here uh, the video where I'm showing you my caterpillars and what I feed them and where I get their food and all of that. Uh, but we actually have a butterfly today and we're going to release the butterfly. So let's take a look at him. I got this enclosure on Amazon for like $10 and it was really money well spent. I prefer this large enclosure over the small one I have over here. That was the one that I started with and I um, really like this one better. And if you look closely, you can see that there is a butterfly in there. Now these butterflies are called uh, black swallowtail butterflies and they are very common here and I believe they are the um, the state butterfly I have to look into that but uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, help him out something about uh, butterflies when you're um, if you help them along in these enclosures you need to give them enough time inside to hang upside down and let their wings uh, fully form. If you let them out too soon and they don't have time to, um, if he's really ready, and they don't have time, uh, their wings will not, um, let's look at him, there he is, oh, he's really everywhere. Their wings don't have time to come out uh, in full and what you wind up having is um, an insect that never forms properly and it's really super sad <laughs> because they go through a lot as a caterpillar to get to this point and if you know, we are going to do things to help them along then we want to make sure that uh, you know, we do the right things so um, make sure they have a you know a few hours to really come into their wings before you open the, the door here to let them out and uh, you don't want to leave them in there too long because they haven't had anything to eat since they went into their chrysalis and they'll be in that chrysalis for um, like five to seven days uh, so I've seen some people talk about leaving them in here for a few days so they can enjoy watching them fly that's really not cool because they're starving and you've got to let them out so they can go get nectar unless you have a food source uh, for them inside the enclosure uh, which I, I don't have that right now. I still have 
you look down here, lots of active caterpillars and um, <laughs> actually having trouble keeping up with food for them because I can't get any more uh, parsley plants. I give them all uh, live parsley and they do really well with that but um, none of the stores have it right now. They've shifted over to having mint and cilantro and uh, this variety of caterpillar does not eat that. Um, so we'll to see how that goes. Uh, but today we're going to talk about the butterfly. If you would like to see more on the caterpillars, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'll link over to that. But let's um, uh, let's help this butterfly come on out. There he goes. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, he's gone. Oh, oh it's so fast. Gosh, that's a strong one. And just like that, the butterfly's gone. I, it's it's pretty fast. Once they're ready to go, they're ready to go. And uh, it's so rewarding. Um, why would you want to help butterflies? Well, you want to help butterflies because they're good for the environment and they are what we call pollinators and they're beneficial insects. And uh, it's a good idea to help them along. They are struggling with habitat loss and with um, insecticidal, I guess you would call environmental issues, just like most of the wildlife uh, are dealing with at this point. And the monarch gets a lot of attention, but I think we should honor all of the, the creatures that need our help. And helping along butterflies is something that you can do in your backyard. Even if you only have like a balcony or something, you can still put out the host plants for your native butterflies, caterpillars, because the caterpillars only eat certain varieties of plants and then the adult butterflies will get nectar from all kinds of flowering plants. They have preferences, uh, but helping those caterpillars get going is a big deal. I put mine in those enclosures because uh, they wind up getting but so far and then a predator will eat them. And if you come over here, I'll show you this. So I put it over here just to give it time to regenerate and be food source for these smaller butter, or smaller caterpillars as they come along. So, let me just show you in here. Right now, I have several, and you can see, they're going to attach where they feel like attaching. <laughs> they honestly have their own personalities. And you can see I've got, let's see here, let me see, two of it there. I, um, I will put sticks in with them because they like to climb the sticks and I've got um, one there. There's one. This is what I'm talking about when I say a chrysalis. You see it's green. And when the butterflies or the caterpillars start uh, going into this behavior, see where he looks like a C? He starts with this and then he'll curl up a little bit more that indicates a caterpillar that's getting ready to go into its chrysalis uh, stage. So you can see I've got a bunch of them still in here and I'm getting low on food so um, <laughs> it's a little bit tricky right now. They will eat the tops of carrots so I was able to find some carrots that have the tops attached so I'm going to um, put those in over the next day or so, I'll give them one more day on this plant and then I'll add the fresh food because um, they're going to need it for sure. This is a plant that was just eaten down to a nub and it's been really making a good comeback. So that is on its way back. It has a few eggs on it, so it's going to have uh, caterpillars hatch anytime, anytime now. And this one um, is, <laughs> It'll make a it comeback. It's surprising. Parsley is really, um, you cut it way back and it, and it regrows. So um, that's a good thing. Over here, this was a parsley I had planted in my garden. And you can see they've just totally eaten that up. There were several caterpillars here and I put this live plant over here for them. 
and um, it looks like somebody has gotten in here and gotten all of them. So I'm going to move that little one there to the enclosure so, uh, so he can have a chance because uh, if I leave him, somebody's, somebody's gonna eat him. I had um, seven caterpillars here yesterday and we're down to one. So I don't know who's getting, any, getting in and eating them. It could be uh, squirrels, it could be birds, it could be any number of um, uh, predators. So we're going to, uh, we're going to move that guy. So I should add that I'm in the Master Gardeners program here in Virginia Beach and um, urban wildlife management is an area of interest for me. And I love sharing information with people about how they can help wildlife in their own backyards. And so that's what this is about today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have questions about butterflies or raising butterflies where you are, uh, let me know. I'll try to help. Um, every city has a master gardening program and it's staffed with uh, some paid staff. It's usually run through the extension office in the city, uh, but you also have a pretty um, extensive network of volunteers and those people can answer questions for you because really what you want to find out about is what butterflies are native to the area where you live and what food source do those caterpillars need because i promise you if you put out that food source that the caterpillars need the butterflies will absolutely show up and lay the eggs and you can help raise butterflies yourself and to me this is more fun and more interesting than just buying that little kit i know i see a lot of people online with the little kit that's fine but i don't know where those butterflies are coming from i don't know if they are native species to where people are releasing them you really don't want to be releasing non-native insects because that can be a big problem they may not be able to find food source or they might be really destructive to the uh, local wildlife so finding out how to work with the native uh, wildlife is your best bet so okay that's uh, that's what I have for you this is just like a little butterfly check-in as more of them hatch I will report back and uh, show you what's going on okay <laughs> thanks again and uh, I will see you next time butterflies this morning that have uh, patched. I'm gonna help them out. Here they come. Ooh, come on. Here you go. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Come on, baby. Come down. Oh, there we go. Off they go.